In a federal criminal case, a, a lot of times you have statutes that provide maximum jail time of say 10 or 20 years, but there's something called the sentencing guidelines that really are what judges use to determine what the sentence is gonna be. And the sentencing guidelines look at factors like whether you have a prior criminal history or not. In this instance, an embezzlement or a theft context, how much was taken, the more money that was taken, uh, the higher the score on the sentencing guidelines would be and the more jail time would be recommended to a judge, how many victims there are. Sometimes, for example, you might have Ponzi schemes or something where you have dozens, maybe even hundreds uh, of victims. The more you have, the more that elevates your, your sentencing guideline score and the more jail time that can lead to. But the key is figuring out what the guidelines range is, uh, and a lot of times there are fights about that. So for example, I've got clients where the government is saying, you know what, we think you took millions and millions of dollars. Uh, but I had a client who said, no, actually I didn't take that much in this scheme. And by the way, I used some of my own money to pay people back after I realized it was a criminal scheme. That wasn't brought to the judge's attention. I, you know, I got hired later on, and so we're trying to take it back now so the judge can take that under advisement, and it should reduce the, 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 the sentencing guideline score and ought to cut the jail time he was given in half at least. So those are the types of factors you need to look at when you're figuring these out. The sentencing guidelines, especially at the federal level, are very complicated. You need a good lawyer who understands the guidelines to be in there from the beginning because it really drives the whole process at the federal level.